and welcome to What's New with Cisco U, the monthly series where we tell you the learning insert stuff you should know. For this episode, we are live and in person at Cisco Live Las Vegas. You may be asking, what is top of mind for learning and certifications at Cisco Live and the rest of the year? And the answer is quite a lot. Our focus areas are split into four main topics, AI, security, cloud, and networking. We have some fantastic experts on the show today who are going to explain to you a little bit more about what that means. We had a really exciting AI announcement happen on site at Cisco Live. So let's get into it. We have been talking a lot about the AI thing. And I know everybody's been wondering about whether it's AI on the network or AI in the network. We are here to also announce we have a brand new certification that we've released. It's a part of our CCD program. It's the CCD AI infrastructure. So for anybody that's looking to build networks that optimize for the use of chain canyons, that have low latency, that takes things like sustainability and compliance around data sovereignty, this is the certification of you. First data test, February of 2025, Cisco Live aims to help you get ready to be releasing free from now all the way to February. And there's already nine hours of free trading on AI on u.cisco.com. So you really want to check that out. The other thing that we're here talking about is the update that we've recently made to CCNA. This is the first update to CCNA since we relaunched in uh, 2020. There's some amazing things that we've added, including a line item about Django AI and Infinite AI, information about cloud. There is also a great way for people to study up on that. So you can also release free to free with Cisco.com. If you're studying for CCNA right now, I'm going to tell you that you can definitely take the test all the way up until August 24th. Or still take the exact same exam. The last thing that we're talking about is our multi-cloud certification. Be a part of our brand new offer, our upskill 22 uh, batch. Take and pass the ENCC, FCKCT, or the brand new ENNC. You're going to be able to earn this upskill 2024 batch and be a part of our upskill community which means that you are taking those big steps for that next horizon on the network. Hi everyone, my name is Alex Garvey. I'm a product manager for We're here demoing the new HOTs. So as you can see here on the Cisco U homepage, we have four key differentiators, and that is here in the top nav. We have Explore, Certifications, Communities, and Plans. And essentially here on the Explore page, you have a variety of content to really explore to meet your learning needs. Um, we have learning paths, courses, practice exams, and all of these features along the, the sub nav. And you can filter by skill level, technology, certification levels, subscription levels, as well as the individual content types and the CE credit elig eligibility. Our learning paths include courses, labs, assessments, and this content is often curated to help you study for a particular certification. Now you can see on the overview page of any learning path, including our certification learning paths, the description, skills covered, skill level, whether the learning path is eligible for CE credits, the number of labs, courses, assessments, and much more. And to get a deep dive into the filtering mechanisms that we've just added off to the side, you'll see your learning path curriculum, which contains the topics of a particular learning path. Once you click on the topic, you'll then see the courses that are included in that particular track. You can further drill down by finding the labs within a track, the assessments, as well as the courses, so you can quickly get to the content. Um, we also are highlighting the subscription options for users who want to invest in their learning. Here on our certifications tab, you can explore any certification of interest from this page. We've also included a job roles filter for users to find and identify different certifications based off of the job role. Each certification card provides you with the name of the certification as well as potential job roles or possible job roles related to 
that certification along with the level. It is here on the individual certification pages where you will find more in-depth information and details related to that specific certification, such as topics that you'll learn, um, the core exams that you'll need to pass, as well as related concentration exams for that particular certification. We provide you with helpful resources to help prepare as well as connect and schedule your exam. Below, we are providing the related training content, such as the learning paths or practice exams to help you further prepare for that actual exam. Additionally, our communities page will take you to a great place where you can ask questions and share ideas about the various topics of a particular certification. And all you have to do is just find the um, associated certification level and look for your particular technology, and it will take you to the certification page for that community. On our plans tab, visitors can easily compare our plans or sign in to buy a title or plan or to create a Cisco U free account. Any visitor who decides to sign in can complete checkout after creating an account or signing in. Plans can be purchased with cash or CLCs. Hey everyone, I just want to talk a little bit more about these new multi-cloud certifications, but also about the content that we have to help prepare you to take these exams. So I, I recently took these two over here, the ENCC, which is a cloud connectivity exam, and the ENNA, which is the network assurance exam. Let's just talk about those two a little bit. So ENCC is all about building connectivity from your, let's say, data centers and branch locations to AWS, Microsoft Azure, and GCP. You're gonna do that with IPsec and SD-WAN. Well, you need to practice those skills. Where do you do that? You go to Cisco U. And in Cisco U, we have a whole learning path for ENCC with loads of hands-on labs. And what's great about our labs, for this course in particular, they're always on. There's no wait time. You click, you go, and you're learning. Same thing for ENNA, I took this exam last week. So this one is all about Thousand Eyes. It's all about network assurance. So here you need to practice with how Thousand Eyes, you know, how to build a test, how to diagnose problems, troubleshoot network issues. So how do you get ready for that exam? Guess what? We have a learning path for ENNA in Cisco U. Again, hands-on labs, loads of them with uh, access to the Thousand Eyes portal and gets you to build tests, install the agents and practice those network assurance skills. So go ahead, check out Cisco U for our two multi-cloud ENCC and ENNA courses. We have some free AI tutorials available on Cisco U this month. Understanding AI and LLMs as a network engineer. Chat with your Cisco IOS XE routing table using AI. And then a couple hands-on chat GPT tutorials, such as leveling up your network engineering GPT prompts. A practical guide to networking prompt templating a coding guide for network engineers uncomfortable with Python, troubleshooting PC connectivity, exploring the chat GPT API, generating documentation from technical sources, building infrastructure as code, and Cisco PyATS and Genie. Creating a Cisco U account is easy. All you need is your Cisco login credentials. We now have an unauthenticated experience for Cisco U, so if you don't have an account yet and you would like to browse, you can just head over to u.cisco.com and check out everything it has to offer. A full list of all of the brand new content available on Cisco U, whether you have a free subscription and all access or essentials will be listed in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. As usual, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Make sure you never miss an episode. I hope you are having a good day wherever you are around the world and happy learning.